morning and welcome to KTN Sports Chat. My name is Kevin Kimadi and today I'm camping here at the Nairobi Parkland Sports Club where the national amputee team is sharpening the arsenals ahead of the men's football world cup that is slated for 24th October to 5th November uh, this year in Mexico. Remember, Kenya has 15 players and the three among uh, those 15 players are already uh, playing professional football in Turkey. That is Dalmas Otieno, Nicolas Keyo and Mohamed Munga. Right now, I'll be joined by the team's head coach, uh, Maurice Shikanda. Just talk about the team's preparations ahead uh, of that competition. Uh, Coach, maybe you can tell me so far how is the team's training and preparations ahead of the second World Cup for Kenya that is slated for 24th. Uh, the team is well prepared and we are happy because uh, the team now, we have good players and uh, we are focusing for the World Cup uh, competition and I hope we are going to take this uh, moment for us to win this uh, World Cup. Looking at the training, uh, the boys in the camp, how would you say is their mental strength ahead of that big task? They are very much okay because most of the players here, they, they are capable, they can play, they can win. So we have good players and also coaches, eh? like I have an assistant coach who is uh, also a goalkeeper. We, we can do best in uh, goalkeeper, this goalkeeper, people with this uh, keeper, goalkeeper, goalkeeper. Eh? But now the players also, we have uh, like professional players like Munga, uh, Dalmas and uh, Keyo. They can help us uh, to go forward because uh, now the World Cup is also hard, but the group we have, uh, at least I know we will have a chance there to become at least number one or two. Now, last time uh, we only made it to the second round. Uh, what are you working on to make sure that this time round uh, we get at least better results? We were working for the fitness and the ball control and also passing eh, of the ball. So, and uh, technically, we know that uh, we are going to to uh, to win all these matches because we are fit and we have good players and we are focusing and we are looking forward to come as number one or number two in this World Cup. As the head coach of the Kenyan national team, are going to the World Cup, what are your expectations of the team? The expectation is too high, and I know that we're going to come with the troop here. And I'm very happy, both of the K-Team are supporting us, and we are very happy. And we, are, we hope that next time we are going to support us fully and to give these uh, viewers who are watching us now, to give us support so that we can have good players in future. In terms of uh, skills, techniques and talent, uh, do you feel that maybe the team is up to task uh, to maybe making it to the finals? Yeah, 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 yeah. They, are, they, are, they are okay. My boys are okay and they are going to deliver. And I'm very happy because I know most of the players here are very capable and they can do it. What's your main target in this year's competition? Yeah, to win the World Cup and to make history. To win the World Cup and to make history, of course. Now. Uh, Maybe you can just tell me uh, how was the process of selecting the team because right now you have 15 members of the team. How was that selection uh, to, uh, to trim the team up to 15 members only? It was a hard task, but we, we, we managed to pick players who were good players. Those also who we left them, they are good, but this one are better than them. So they are, next time they'll prove that they are better than this, this players we have. But we hope that next time maybe this, uh, another, other players will come in because if you are going to win this World Cup, it will make moral for them to come and so that we can play next World Cup, maybe. God will. Have some, uh, did you hold trials uh, to select the team? Yeah, we hold trials. We were in Kakamega and we select two players. Yeah, in merit. Uh, do you feel that maybe uh, a lot of uh, other players of their kind maybe are shy away from joining the team because of the fear of injuries and all that? No, no. We have good players and players they cannot take because they know they are fit. We have good players and we know they have any injury. Yeah. No, I'm talking about uh, those who didn't join uh, the team. Uh, there may be other guys who are interested uh, in playing football, but they were afraid maybe of joining the team. How hard is it to convince uh, these guys to join in to play football? How hard is it uh, bearing in mind that they have their injuries? Okay, it's not hard for them because most of them, they were fit, but because they were not uh, fit enough to play and to be selected in the team. That's why we left them. But we don't left them because they are not uh, good players, they are good players. We have good players, and they, but those also we left them, they are very good. Okay, thanks and all the best coach ahead of the World Cup. Now, that's 
uh, Kenya's, Kenya's national team head coach Maurice Shikanda. Just talking about the team's uh, expectations and preparations ahead of the World Cup. Of course, he's saying that the boys are well prepared. They are up to the task not only to participate in this competition, but to make sure that Kenya wins its first ever amputee men's uh, World Cup trophy. Right now, I'll be speaking to one of Kenya's key players who will be uh, participating in this competition. Uh, maybe you can tell me as a player so far, uh, the training you've had, you've been training for some months now, uh, how do you feel going to the World Cup? Do you feel that maybe you're well prepared? Yes, my name is Vincent Mutai. I'm the goalkeeper. Uh, the training here is so good. We have trained hard and I assure you that we are going to make history in Kenya, also in Africa, by winning the trophy. Looking at Group F, Kenya has been uh, put in uh, Pool F together with Turkey, which is really a good team, and USA. Uh, does it give you jitters that maybe you might not be able to make it uh, to the second round? Because of training we have had here, I'm seeing we are going to top the ball. We are going to win all the all the matches. There is no difficult there because of the training we have had here. I thank the coaches. They have really supported us. They have really given us all the support we have. Yeah. Now, what's your target as a player looking uh, in uh, the mood at the camp, at the boys? Uh, what's your target going to this competition? What do you really want to achieve apart from participating in the World Cup? What I really want to achieve is that we want to win the World Cup, the Cup to come to Kenya. Okay, yeah, okay. As, a, as a goal giver, I'm the driver of this team because I'm the main goal keeper there. I'm the last man, so I'm supposed to be really driving my team. Yeah. Uh, last time Kenya only made it to the second round, we didn't uh, really do that good. What are you working on to make sure that maybe this time round uh, things will be different for the Kenyan team that will be representing us this year's uh, World Cup? Okay, last time we were in sec we managed to reach the second round, but this time round, I really, I'm really thankful to God again because of some different players. They are really hard working. So we will manage to be in, in another position, which is position one or two. Because we are aiming for finals. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much and all the best uh, going to the competition. Now that one of Kenya's key players, just talking about uh, the mood in the camp, the boys are well prepared and of course they are ready to not only uh, participate in this competition or make it to the second round comparing with the last time, but also to make sure that this time round they win the first ever uh, Kenya Amputee Football World Cup. Right now, I'll be uh, joined by the uh, Federation's Secretary General. Just talk about the team's challenges, how it has been, how the journey is, how the growth of the game uh, is so far in the country. Maybe, uh, although you can just uh, tell me how hard is it to organize all these, get these players and convince them to play football, uh, bearing in mind their situation. Yeah, okay, okay. I can say, okay, first of all, my name is Peter Olo. I'm the Secretary General of Kenya Peter Football Federation. Okay, the question you ask is very difficult because, uh, as you can see, most of our players, I can say, most of them are hawkers. Apart from the three who are playing outside, most of them are really struggling to make ends meet. So, I think it is the love of the game. But, and that's why they will leave their work to come and uh, engage themselves in the field and as well to keep fit. Because, you know, because some of us have gone to Turkey, some of them are like, are like that, okay, are like that, maybe after they've done their training, they'll get that chance to go and play in the Super League in Turkey, yeah. But most of them are not all that well played. So it has been a very big challenge for us to make them come together, because most of them have been like missing training because of the reasons here and there, I think you know, because they have to look something for their children and uh, for their siblings because uh, it has been a very big challenge. Has the team had any uh, 
financial support from the government so far uh, during the preparations of the trials uh, that is in Bukungu Stadium in Kakamaega and all that. Have you had any support from the government so far? Okay, I can say we get some support from the from the honorable Senator Shionga in Kakamega and uh, and uh, Senator Moru Mashirube and uh, we also get some support from the Nakata CEO Mr. Taokyoma and uh, from the government not yet because they said that they will only be supporting the team from JKIA up to JKIA. So anything on the local ground it is upon the federation to look for sponsors, to look for well wishes to come and chip in for us maybe to make sure we have a good team on the ground before we proceed to Mexico. So that's, that's now has been a very big challenge on our side because we really try to reach people so that they can as well embrace whatever we are doing to make sure that these people they are being catered for because they have talent in the long run. So we are very happy because we approach the Parkland Sports Club, the management, the general manager and they really embrace us and that's why you can see we are, we are doing our practice in the grounds of the Parkland Sports Club. So it's a very big honor on our side because we are also hoping that maybe other ways out there maybe they can embrace the Parkland management so that they can as well tip in because this game are running without anything it's only water and the ball so we need the food on the ground because these people are using a lot of strength to run with the balls and with the grass as well and again going home remember it's an unresolution train because at the end of the day they'll be going back home without anything in the pocket but they are sure that they have to do it because it is what they love it's not about the love of money so whoever is listening for us or whoever is seeing us, we are really appealing to anybody to come and help the situation because this is a national team. This is not a, a club. We are going to represent Africa and we are fight from Africa. We have Kenya, Angola, Ghana, Nigeria, Liberia. And it's a very big honor. This is the second time we are going for the World Cup. I'm sorry to say this because Aram Stars have never been to the World Cup. So let's call a spade a spade. Let people come and support the team instead of these people are going to ask for money on the street, they are on the field doing something what what they love most. So that's the challenge. Now, apart from the national team, uh, what else is the federation doing to make sure that they spread the game across counties or Mashinani, just to make sure that the game spreads? Maybe uh, should we expect a local league or something like that apart from the national team? In fact, that's our second move and that's why we were in Bukungu last month. Because we were like, every country should be hosting the Amputee Football League every year. So it is not only in Nairobi, but it should be in every country. And in fact, we've also written to the COG Council of Governors Chair, so that he can as well talk on this while they are having their meeting, for everybody to embrace the Amputee Football League. While they are doing their local sports, their county sports, they should know that there is Amputee Football who are existing. They can as well call us if they don't have their members down there to go and showcase for the players who are maybe in Mashinani to come and play and beautiful football with us. Because you, as you can see most of our players here, I think we took them from Kakamega because we didn't know that there were existing some players. In fact, four good players. We got from the last time trials because they were not there in the first place. Yes. Apart from the normal, the original players, we got the four good players from doing our trials in Kakamega last month, which was very good. So I'm very sure that if it is even taken to Samburu, if it is taken to Wajia, we'll go players there. If it, if it is taken to West Pokot, there are good players there. There are many Abutis there in West Pokot and they can as well play football. They can all get themselves in sports and they'll change their life. Do you feel that maybe the team right now has now financial support to make sure that they make it to the World Cup or through uh, to, to the finals if that is if the, their performance gets them there. For sure because we've been assured that everything for the World Cup is well taken care of by the government. And that's what I'm saying that our team, our players are, are up with that this time around because they will not be under the normal. But that time whatever made them not to score or not to perform is that the preparation was, uh, was not all that okay. And this time around we were We've learned from our mistakes and we really started preparation a long time ago. So with whatever we have and with the morale and the passion of the players, we are very sure that come 5th of November, you will be meeting at the airport with a, a different style, as well with the government people.
that, Peter Olo, the Secretary General of the Federation, just talking about the challenges that this team is facing ahead of the World Cup of Fairs. Of course, they are facing financial struggles and also in terms of infrastructure, there isn't really much uh, for them uh, to train on. Even this ground, I tell, getting it, securing it for the national team training, it's really hard. Remember, this is a team that is participating in the Amputee World Cup for the second time. And he hopes, he urges our government and also well-wishers and sponsors to come on board and make sure that they support this team uh, to make sure that they deliver good result in Mexico. We go for a short commercial break and we, when we come back, I'll be speaking to some of the players just to understand the rules of the game. Is it like the normal football that is normally played or also about the challenges uh, that they are facing as uh, players?